these arts and crafts. Today we're going to be making a tambourine with paper plates. So let's get on with it. Okay, the first thing you're going to need are two paper plates. They don't have to be the big ones, they can be the small ones, whatever size you want to do. You're going to need some paint brushes and some coloured paints. And then you're going to decorate all of this side of your paper plate. Not this side, but this side. Okay, and then when you've done that, you're going to end up with something like... Are you ready? This! Now you can decorate in whatever pattern you want. You don't have to use paint, you can use pastels, you can use pencil crayons, you can use felt tips, whatever you've got at home. But I've decided to use paint for mine. Okay, so now we're going to do the other bit of it. So I'll move the paint brushes and the paints out of the way. Now because we're making a tambourine, the reason why I've said to do the outside of the plate is because it obviously fits better together. So this is how your tambourine is going to look. I've decorated both sides the same. But again, you can do it whichever way around you want to. So you don't have to do it the same way as me at all. Okay, now in order to make sure that your holes for your bells are punched in the same place, I've got a stapler. And I'm only going to staple it in two places, and that's top and bottom. Okay, so you don't need any more staples than that, just the two. And then you're going to get a hole punch. Now, if you haven't got a punch to like mine, don't worry about it because you can use um, a piece of blue tack underneath and just go straight through your plates together. All right, it'll still work. Now, depending on how many bells you want, depends on how many of these you do. I'm going to put three bells on each side. Now, you've got your staples here for the top and the bottom so you can see where you need to space your bells out. And I'm going to do this one there. Okay, so you can see I've got three holes this side. There's my staple, so I'm going to go again. You don't, you can just guess really, you don't have to be very accurate. And the next one. And the last one. Okay, so that means that your hole your holes are in the right places. If you didn't staple them together first, then it'd be hard for you to make sure your holes matched up, so that's why I've stapled them first. Okay, then you need a piece of wool. I'm gonna use orange wool for mine. You can use any colour you want. You can use string, you can use ribbon. And all you need to do is cut a piece off, thread it through the holes like so. Take one of your jingly bells and they have got a little loop on the top so all you need to do is put the wool through the bell and then grab it on the other side and then you can tie your bell on now you don't want it too tight because you want it to be able to jingle all right so don't go too tight you need to be able to make that noise okay another piece of wool And thread it through. You might not do it first time, so just like there you go. And then take another bell again through the loop. And tie this one on. Again, not too tight, just enough to make sure that it, the bell won't come off. And then cut the extra string you don't need off. And again, on the hole, go through the other side, don't forget your bell, pop it through, and tie it on again, not too tight. Now if you don't have any bells and you can't make a tambourine, you can do this to make a shaker. So all you need to do to make a shaker is do exactly the same as what I've done already. So decorate both sides of your plate, this side only. Um, on the inside of your plate that's not decorated, you need to put some rice or some stones or some cereal, anything that makes a shaky noise. And then once you've done that, put the top on top of that one. Okay, and then you can either sellotape all the way around the edge, overlapping both plates or you can glue and then staple just to make sure because don't forget if you shake it and you've got gaps the things that you've got inside will come out 
okay I might make a shape for another video so I can show you what I mean but if you understand the process it's basically the same as this but you've just got to make sure you've got no gaps like we have on the tambourine okay and then you get some more string and do the next one these are really great if you're having a party or you're celebrating something or just make a musical instrument in general so you can just play something again don't make it too tight okay and then you're going to cut off the excess again and then get another piece Go through the hole. It will go through with a bit of work. There you go. Another bell. And also, once you've finished playing with your tambourine, you can always take the bells off and make something else with them. So you can reuse them again. And again, cut that off. I think I'm on the last one now. You don't have to put six on if you don't want. You can put four on. Six makes a nice sound. Same as four. Any less than that. And I don't think you'll get a tambourine noise. And tie that on. And then again, cut off the excess wall. Right, that's finished with now. Now, if you want to decorate your tambourine a bit further, you can put some glitter on. Now, what I've got is a stick um, that puts glue where you want it but if you haven't got one of these sticks you can use a cotton bud that's the best thing to use and I would suggest that you get a bowl or a mat and put your glue onto that rather than gluing straight onto your tambourine because then you're not going to get a big glob as you can see it comes out quite globby so you get your Glitter, your glue, sorry, and you just go round putting it where you want it. Okay, so I'm gonna have glitter on the main part of my tambourine. I don't want it around the edges because I don't want it to come off on my hands, but I'm gonna put it on the bit that you can see. And remember, you can do both sides once this side is dry, but I'm just gonna show you how to do this side on the video. And then I will glue the, glue the other side when this side is dry. Okay, so that's my glue. Now, when you're using glitter, because you want to save the glitter and not lose any, if you get a piece of paper and put your project underneath it, and I'm going to use red glitter because it's red paint. It's like a pinky, pinky reddy colour. Okay, and I'm going to tip it where I want it, just on the dots. Obviously you've got to make sure you cover all of the glue like so. Okay and I'm going to leave it there for a little while to shake it a little bit and then tip it onto your paper and as you can see I've got glitter dots where I want them and it's not big globules where I don't want them. And because I've used paper to collect my glitter all I need to do is shake it up into a crease and then it'll go straight back in the pot and you hardly waste any so there's a top tip from mrs b to save your glitter all right and that's that done so then you can get rid of the paper after that because you're finished okay and then you can put glitter anywhere you want you can put stickers on it if you want to um you can do anything that you like to it once you've got it to this point and then just have it enjoy playing okay thank you for joining mrs b's arts and crafts remember i'd love to see your tambourine so if you send the, your examples in to me at mrs b's arts and crafts at gmail.com i'll put your photos on my next video so take care thank you for coming see you soon